you know, to stop me, stop and get a little Auntie Anne's, Auntie Anne's, however you say it. It was good though. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Major J. So, I'm going to do something a little different today, and I am going to be going into H&M. H&M, back in the day, didn't really have much of my size, but I noticed now that they're carrying a lot more plus sizes for us. We're going to go in and see what I can find just walking into the mall. If you're a plus size baddie, you know when you go into the mall, there's like a good 70% chance that you're not going to find anything that fits you. It's nice to see that a lot of the stores in the mall are starting to include some of our sizes. So let's go in and see what I can find. I don't know if they're going to let me film in there. I'm debating if I want to ask them. I don't want to ask because they're just going to be like, no. So I'd rather just film and then they tell me no and then we go from there. What I want to do is kind of just film me in the fitting room and hopefully they don't notice I'm in there for like forever. In the actual store, I probably won't film anything. And I also will probably do voiceovers so that they don't hear me. So this is really on the hush hush. So let's go inside. First up, we have this navy short set. It is very, very comfortable. It's made out of this like crepey, linen-y material. Can't really describe it. It looks black in the video because the lighting in there was terrible, but it's actually navy and I really liked it. This next one is actually not a set, and they're not the same color, but they look the same color. The top is actually like a sage green, and the shorts are like a taupe, but they kind of went together, and I really liked it. I ended up actually getting this set. Um, probably could have went a little smaller on the top. Again, everything is a double XL, but, you know, I thought it was cute and comfortable, so I bought it. As you can see from my face, I am not feeling this look. So originally I wanted that like zebra top in the back to go with this skirt, but that thing didn't even make it over my boobies. So I just threw this on just to have something on, but yeah, it's a no for me. It's giving me Little House on the Prairie. This next one, so same top, but I switched the bottoms. It's giving very much skims. I mean, I've never tried skims, but I'm assuming this is like the look they were trying to go for. Um, not a fan of the biker shorts, one, because they show absolutely everything, and two, there was this like weird little gap in between my thighs, and I feel like that was going to be uncomfortable. So these are the biker shorts I actually had on for the day. They weren't H&M, but the top I tried on. I really like this top. It is a heavy knit sweater, though, so not for the summer, but hey, fall is right around the corner. It's about to be August. Next thing you know, we're going to be back in school. I'm not in school, but you know, you know what I mean. Okay. So guys, I am back in the car. And let me just tell you, H&M, y'all wrong for that. <laughs> Literally, there was no air conditioning in that whole damn store. I was rushing out the fitting room because I literally was sweating balls. Like, I had to go. You know, I had to stop me. Stop and get a little... Auntie Anne's, Auntie Anne's, however you say it. It was good though. Overall, I think I was pretty content with the selection that they had. Um, it was a lot of neutrals, as you guys can see from what I tried on. And there were some things that did not fit me. They did only go up to a double XL. So you kind of had to play around with what the item was made of and fabric and all that stuff. But I feel like it, it was a lot better than back in the day, I'll tell you that much. And there was some cute fits, especially on brand. So H&M, thumbs up by me. If you guys like this type of content, let me know. Maybe I can test out some other stores for you. But thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed.